name's Jay Brent. I'm the co-owner of Pulp 716 Coffee and Comics. The goal for the store is to, well, put everything in it that I always wanted. We put in the bubble tea, we put in the coffee, we put in uh, the exotic fruits, foods, everything like that, everything I love. We have interns. We have about a dozen employees and three interns. Um, I own it. I'm a co-owner with my wife, and then we have the, the manager, the bar manager, Anthony. Workers. We sell everything from kids' books to uh, adult oriented books, like horror, crime mystery, superhero books, really anything that the market dictates. Surprisingly, you would think, most people think that Marvel or DC would be the most popular. It's not the case at all. In fact, Deadpool is not even the most popular book. There's a brand called Image. Image Comics started back in the 90s. There was a group of artists that worked for Marvel, but they decided to start their own company. It's called Image Comics. And they branched off and they're very successful. The best-selling books in the shop are called Paper Girls. It's about a group of paper girls that takes place in the, around 1990. And there's some uh, mystery and time travel involved. And then another image book called Beauty. They're good books, and they outsell anything in the shop. We have uh, anywhere from, I would say, three and up. And Marvel is pretty good about making the kids' books. For instance, Spider-Man has three different levels. They have uh, a level for the children between three and eight, and then they have another Spider-Man book uh, for ages probably eight to 13, and then the main Spider-Man book is 13 and up, because it's pretty mature. Coffee flavors, we just introduced our 1946 coffee, it's the Bikini Brew, uh, that's the most popular right now, it's historically accurate. Bubble tea wise, that's tough because we have our own recipes. I would probably say the cinnamon bun bubble tea is our most popular, followed closely by our Vermont maple and that maybe the, the Whoopian, it's a Caradelli white chocolate. Blue raspberry bubble tea. We have a weekly Artist of the Week event where we donate a corner of our store to a weekly artist. That's been very popular and we've met some great people. What we're doing is we're trying to give back. We were blessed to have opened this shop and given this opportunity and if we could just open the door for somebody, a new artist or even a kid, gosh, we've had some 15 year old kids in here that are just amazing artists and they're meeting some some other artists that come in here to chat with them and they're networking and they're getting advice and I really think it's, it's for the best. What's unique about it is um, a lot of their a lot of those stores they don't think about like the family oriented um, situation so we have you know books for kids and we also have games for people to hang out with and stuff so um, we actually see a lot of dates come in um, you know, first dates. We actually have a date night thing that we do. So um, it's just fun to see all the families come in and everybody, everybody. Even if you don't read comics, you just buy a bubble tea and you sit down with your friends. And it's just fun to see all the stuff that happens with all the people that come in, all our regulars and everything, always smiling and whatnot. We see growth. We have a pretty solid business plan that we're sticking, we're, we're sticking to. For year one, was to open the door, and we exceeded our goals by almost sixty percent. So we did a lot better than we thought we'd do. Year three will be expansion. 